As we know, we're starting more and more to get into the crunch time period of the uh, of the season, and uh, of course, you have to have to be even a bit more focused and more concentrated. And yeah, we spoke um, before the Luton game about how oh, it's important after a really spotlight game against Brentford, then to be even a bit more greedy in the in the next game. And right now. Thank God we had also a few uh, days uh, to calm the load a bit down, to recover a bit. But then it's also uh, important after a few days break. And it's anyhow ridiculous that we speak about a little break when we have a normal week anyhow, just one game. But uh, that's the uh, nature of the championship. So after a few days more between the games, right now to, uh, to speak about, okay, it's important to, after this little yeah, mini break also to say, okay, come on. Right now we, we need to keep going exactly in the way we, uh, we finished and to be uh, then also fully switched on from the first second. Yeah, it's, it's more or less uh, quite similar, you're right. Yeah, sadly, uh, Adam Ida will um, miss the game. So he had uh, problems during the week with his, uh, with his hernia. He needs to see an, um, a specialist on, uh, on Monday. It's improving uh, over the last um, 24 hours, but he still feels some pain in his her uh, hernia. And, and uh, there is even a little fear of that he perhaps will need a surgery anyhow. So, but uh, we have to wait how the assessment, the first assessment of his hernia um, will, will go. Like I mentioned on Monday, he will see a specialist because in the last days was not perfect. He will miss out the game. And uh, there's also a little doubt behind uh, Ben Gibson because he had, uh, again, uh, hamstring problems. He's struggling a bit with the... Yeah, low during this season after more or less two years without playing consistently. And um, after the last game, he was also moaning a bit about some hamstring problems. He hasn't had a training session together with uh, us, just individual training. It looks much improved. So I hope, um, so we have, uh, we'll still have two sessions today and tomorrow. So I hope he can join us during these sessions. But it's a bit too early to confirm that he's really available. So... Um, at least uh, a little doubt uh, behind his appearance and availability. No, not at all. So congratulations to uh, to Timo. Um, yeah, fantastic. He fully fully deserves it. And also, um, who won it? I think Mick Mick McCarthy won it properly. Um, so congratulations, fantastic, fantastic job, and and uh, well deserved. Um, great anyhow and and um, liked for him i think valeria ismail was also was a pretty impressive uh, record there and what he's doing at the moment at Barca is also quite impressive i'm used uh, to miss out individual awards so i'm a little uh, unlucky i think my win percentage and after being nominated uh, must be the lowest ever in, in in the whole history of the of the club i think someone told me well right now it was uh, five in a row nominated and i always missed out um as long as I'm nominated, I'm, uh, I'm uh, definitely a happy man because it means we had a really good, uh, really good month. And I'm also used to it. I can remember our, our title winning season when we finished with nearly one points and nearly one goals. I think I won it once, um, but I was also nominated an unbelievable amount of, amount of months. We had a period of, of nine wins in a row, eight or nine wins in a row. I missed it out. Uh, we finished with 14 games unbeaten and with bringing it over the line with great away wins at Willa Park anyhow. Yeah, manager of the months in April, May, June, no chance anyhow. Um, yeah, I think even the, even the manager of the, uh, of the year award uh, was, uh, was out. And um, I think last, uh, last season, uh, Marcelo Bielsa, uh, was winning the title with Leeds, uh, won it and he was shortlisted for uh, manager um, of the year 2020 in the world. And you know, he was on the shortlist manager in the world and well-deserved. He was, uh, was great. And you know, uh, our title win uh, was, I think, a bit more surprising than, uh, than Leeds. We won, uh, won it with more points, more goals. Also, it was a pretty special brand of football. I was not even uh, able to win it, win the, the manager of the month award. And you know, even uh, not to speak about the performance of the week. That's it. So it doesn't bother me. So everything's, uh, everything's uh, is cool. And that as long as my players win the individual awards and, and I'm happy. So in, in, in this season, uh, we, had, we won everything. We won the gold boot for Timo Pukki, best player in the league. Best goal is Kira Max Aaron's best young player. Anyhow, um, we had several, several players in the, in the best team of the league. Yeah, I missed out. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not bothered. I'm, I'm used to it and for that, quite, uh, quite relaxed. So for, for that, uh, all, yeah, they are fantastic managers. So Marcelo Bielsa was great. Congratulations to him. Uh, then last season, I think the season before, then probably Chris Wilder won it. Yeah, also great, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic achievement. This time, manager of the month, Mick, Mick McCarthy, also well deserved. All, all okay. I'm, I'm a happy man. So for me, just important where we are on the table. If I'm honest, yes, it's it's a surprise uh, for me because, um, like you mentioned, so big big club and and uh, 
yeah, also unbelievably experienced group of players for, for, for this level and quality. And, and, you know, there are many, many players I really, really um, yeah, admire since, uh, since years when I think about the likes of, of Ben and uh, when I think about, about Reach, about Winders uh, up, uh, in, in the offense. Patterson, but also Lee's, and you know, in the, in the defense, yeah, we don't have to speak about Jordan Rhodes, and you know, he finds it difficult to, to be in the starting lineup. He was main man in our, um, or one of our main men in the offense, and didn't play each other minute because we also had Timo Pukki, but also unbelievably important, um, important on this, uh, on this level. And for me, still, when you just judge his record, one of the greatest championship strikers ever, and he finds it difficult to come to the sides. There's a lot also about their, competitiveness and um, also with, with Tony Pulis then also unbelievable experience coach difficult uh, set up a difficult game also against them they looked unbelievably difficult to 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 open them and thank god uh, in the end we found a way but it was a difficult game of course I'm surprised yeah let's be honest with a point deduction they would be in a much better position without the point deduction and it's also from the from the, I think probably then also mental aspect yeah because when you have a point, point deduction you start in the beginning of the season, I think with, with 12 points, it's also difficult to keep the season going. And then later on, it was reduced to six points. Okay, that helped a little bit, but um, yeah, it was then not that easy because you never come into a rhythm that you're really also in the yeah, fighting for, for the playoffs anyhow. And this group of players, yeah, should, should fight for the playoffs. So it's a complicated uh, season for them, but they still have, uh, still have all chances to, to stay in this league. And uh, again, also when I judge... The quality of the coaches, um, also Gary Monk and Tony Pulis right now, also Darren Moore, I think really good coaches on this level. And um, yeah, my fingers will also be crossed that they have a chance anyhow to, and they will stay in this league yeah, because such a big name and big club deserves to stay in this league. But yeah, hopefully they start a really good run in uh, just after the game on uh, on Sunday. Then my fingers are crossed for them. Um, but I expect also a difficult task because, like I mentioned before, I think... Darren is a, a really good in terms of man management and, and create the spirit within the group. I think he will have used this week to regroup a little bit after a bit, yeah, difficult and also unlucky start. Yeah, with red cards and and late goals in ninety seventh minute. Anyhow, they were pushing for for a winner and then conceded then more or less in ninety seventh minute a sucker punch and um, yeah played more than sixty minutes in under load in the last game. I think uh, they will be quite competitive on uh, on Sunday and it will be a difficult game for us. What I can say is I think what, what Chris has, and you, everyone knows, so we had a bit uh, yeah, tricky and competitive start perhaps in our in our relationship. Um, but it was also quite normal yeah, because he is was in the English game quite long and I came new into this game and, and I have to uh, earn in the, in the beginning also my, my respect and, and try to do this also with hard work and, and quality in the work. And I have to say, um, we have a really good relationship uh, meanwhile. And uh, I have to say, so what we got is about the situation, about the speculation, what will happen there. I have to say what he has achieved in the, in the recent years uh, for the Blades is, is unbelievable. I think he has a legendary state, status and he will never, never, um, um, uh, never, um, yeah, loses yeah, because what he has achieved um, over years, he, is, he was not there just with six good months or one good, one good season. He has shown this with consistency to bring them from the third tier up to the Premier League and such a fantastic, such a fantastic first season on Premier League level is, uh, is outstanding. And what he has done for this uh, for this club, uh, yeah, will will live forever. And um, yeah, also how special and unique he has set up his team. Of course, relying on an unbelievable defensive strength, but then also. Yeah, you could see his handwriting with a pretty special uh, approach, with overloading wings, with overlapping uh, centre backs. Anyhow, I always love when when you see the handwriting of the of the coach, regardless if it's your style or if it's not your style. But what he has done there is, was pretty special and unique, and I think he can be unbelievably proud of what he has achieved. I think everyone at, at Sheffield, regardless of the current situation, knows that um, is one of the the best achievements that a uh, that. Uh, head coach had in this game uh, in, the, in the recent years and in, uh, in the whole UK and for that I just uh, just can praise him what he what he has done yeah, as I got I also got the feeling so Jacob Lungi in the beginning was also struggling with some some throw ins Max Evans was a uh, was a bit a bit the same especially our lads on the on the wings and it, it's a small detail anyhow 
um, someone mentioned to me, I haven't watched it back anyhow, but I think I was, uh, was a bit annoyed because Dimi was also pretty close to have two or three wrong through ins before. And we always speak about, come on, do it in a proper way and be concentrated. And I probably in, the, in this scene, I think, yeah, I was so angry that I anyhow imitated him a little, a little bit or something. Something that at least someone mentioned it should look funny. So if it's uh, if it's a bit too nasty, and I have to have to apologize. But even I'm sometimes a bit emotional, and I can't I can't handle it when my when my players are not always one hundred percent focused and concentrated in each and every minute. And especially with throw in, so we have faced Brentford for example. Side they always have certain um, anyhow who is there with a throw in it's more like it feels like a, it's always feels like a like a cross or like a corner kick many teams play like this and we had several teams who are not able to create a chance against us but then when there is a throw in close to our box anyhow and we cause this throw in just because we we do a false throw in and then they are able to send their tall and big center backs in and they have the best chance of the game anyhow out of this situation I can get furious, and I, in this moment I could kill anyhow. So Dimitrios was uh, probably quite happy that I was not closer to him in the in the situation. Um, yeah, but uh, it doesn't take anything away that uh, yeah. he's also doing fantastic at the moment. And, and, and yeah. sometimes I have to calm myself also down and my demands a bit down there yeah, because they're not no robots; they're human, uh, human beings. And if a false throw in is really the the yeah, biggest thing I, I have to moan about at the moment. Yeah, then also uh, also happy days. But uh, I have to say, so I'm I'm too emotional. Probably I will uh, also go for down even if we produce uh, performances like this, and even if he produce performances like this, to moan uh, about this little topics. And I think probably in this moment I still want to kill him. But I try, uh, yeah, to behave a bit better and try uh, not to imitate him too much the next time. And yeah, let's see if it works.